going on YouTube, it's your boy Light back in with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video we're doing Shazam uh, 2019 review. So yeah, um, this movie, my initial thoughts, this movie is really good. I really enjoy it. Probably my favorite DC EU movie, not my favorite DC movie, but DC EU movie. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, now in this review I'm going to be explaining why I enjoy it. What I thought could maybe have changed, but yeah. So yeah, let, let's get into this. Uh, and also, before we start the video, uh, I'm in no way a professional reviewer. Like, I don't have a degree in filmmaking or any of that. So yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm not a professional. I'm just someone who likes movies, watches them a lot. And yeah, I'm like explaining why he, why he likes it on the internet. <laughs> so yeah, um... Yeah, Shazam. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this movie. Um, the acting is solid. It's very good. Um, acting's really good. Special effects, again, really good. Um, music was well done. Dialogue was also pretty done. Pretty done. Done really well. Writing was done well. Story was well. Yeah. Um, there's probably one thing I would change. And let me um The whole of the Shazam is definitely, in my opinion, a con I personally like the Shazam character. But I did... He was, he was on the middle, in the middle for me. Um, especially from like the comics and wise and stuff. But this, this movie just made me love Shazam even more. He, he was awesome. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy his character in this movie. Um, yeah, and I feel like Shazam is a little... It's a little bit... I'm pretty sure we call him the character Shazam. There's a whole story behind his name, but... Yeah, for the sake of this review, I'm just going to call it the Billy Batson Shazam... I know that's not his real name, or like what he's supposed to be called. So just in case you're wondering, but yeah, um, I I feel like the whole character of Shazam is a bit hard to get do because you have to realize that he's a kid who can transform into a man. So you have to remember that the kid brain is still there, and the experiences and stuff, right? Basically, you have to make a man act like a child. That's pretty much what you have to do, and in my opinion, that might might be hard to do. But this movie damn well na nailed it. I mean, Zach Zachary Levi did an awesome job. Like he did an awesome job of putting in a what was he like fourteen year old kid into an adult body, which I thought was really cool. Um, just yeah, just the way he acted and stuff. It was really cool. He acted like he was a child. And I thought that was really interesting. Character development again was really good. Um, just with the, with the way I felt. But the thing I would change though is in the end with the Shazam family. I think they may should have made like the Shazam family the Shazam family for a bit longer. Um, I, I, I felt like it was, it wasn't rushed. I mean, the movie's still watchable, still a good movie, but I just wish that maybe he could, he could have transformed them into Shazam, a little, like, 15 minutes before, um, 15 minutes before the final battle or something like that, because I definitely thought that could have been super interesting in that aspect, but it's still a good movie, it's still a 10 out of 10 movie to me, um, yeah, again, acting-wise, really well done. Um, yeah, Zachary Levi does a fantastic job of portraying Shazam. Like, I, I really, I really think they nailed it on the casting-wise. Like, I would not change one of these actors. I think they all do fantastic jobs. And Mark, Mark Strong even redeemed himself pretty much because we all still had that. Green Lantern, I mean, sorry, Sinestro, in our head. At least, at least DC fans, DC wise, 
Most people wouldn't even used to think of Mark Strong as Sinestro, but at least now he's redeemed himself, and I think he did Dr. Savara or Savannah. Um, he did a he did a really good job in portraying him. I thought it was awesome. Uh, the way he portrayed him was fantastic. Um, and the villain was also good, too. Like, I dislike the villain. Uh, no, not like dislike where I hate the villain. I mean, I dislike him because he's evil. Uh, but again, he's understandable. That was good. That was a good way of doing it. Um, yeah, the movie, the movie itself, um, it felt like it was kids with, for kids, but with a bit of an adult, uh, joke or teen jokes or whatever. So yeah, I thought that was really well put because all ages could pretty much watch it. Um, yeah, and another thing too is, supposedly before this movie was coming out, it was supposed to be Black Adam as the villain. And I was pretty excited, and, and I was kind of bummed out that we didn't get him as a villain. But Mark Strong does so good of a job that I didn't even really care anymore. Um, yeah, so that's that's one thing I thought was really well done, uh, especially with the villain. And then Dijamon Hansu, I, I I'm definitely butchering that name. My apologies, but. He did a good job of playing the wizard or whatever. I thought he did an awesome job. For the little time he was in, the little screen time he got, he did an awesome job. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Um, really good. Music and stuff, it fit, fit the scene perfectly. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really well done. Like, the music it fit, the, fit the scene really, really well. Um... Yeah, um, and I would say the whole way they deal, dealt with his mother was was an interesting way. I, I can't remember if they dealt like that with that like in the comics. Uh, but yeah, I definitely thought that was like really good character development as well because it ended the case because they could have gone on like like um they could have been like. Oh, uh, Shazam, Plum, what we're gonna see in the second movie. But they ended up putting it in the first movie, and it made perfect sense. It wasn't like, oh, we didn't understand what's going on, or it was rushed. It wasn't rushed. It was, it was really well, really well done. Um, yeah, really enjoyed the aspect of that. Um, and yeah, like, it was also, well, pretty good, where you could understand, um, serious parts you can take serious parts from kind of more laughable parts like, you know the movie itself had a very funny tone to it like it was really like a lot of people would have probably laughed like at least i was laughing for most of the movie but like obviously it wasn't laughing at like savara but savannah and stuff uh but like in the ending when shazam finally like starts acting like a superhero and whatnot. Um, I thought it was really cool because, yeah, that was some very good character development as well. Um, yeah, the Shazam family, I couldn't really take that serious because I just remember them as like some little kids and stuff. But it, it'll we have chances to improve on them, obviously because next. Probably the next movie or whatever, and yeah, um, yeah. Again, it's it's very it, it's not a comedic tone, but it's a very funny slash not childish but funny kind of tone to the movie. It's not like it's very it's not too too serious, but it's serious at the same time. I thought that was really well done. Um, yeah, this movie was really well done. It, in my opinion, it's probably my favorite DCU movie. It's either this or Aquaman. Um, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say DC movie because I also like the Nolan Trilogy and Batman 1989 and Joker and stuff like that. 
But yeah, it's it's definitely a really good movie. I really hope they tone future DC movies like this, DCU movies. I really hope they do it in this kind of way. I think they find. I hope they finally understand that a lot of people will like this these DC movies. I'm going kind of off topic here, but a lot of people would like these DCU movies if um we were seeing new characters because again, Shazam was a new character. Not too many people know exactly who it is. People just want to watch it and have a laugh or whatever. So, yeah, I definitely thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah, the movie the movie itself, I would probably rate it like a 10 out of 10. I'm being not all honesty. This movie is really good. Not Maybe not 0.5 because that one small change, but it's a perfect movie. I would not change anything other than that one small thing, but... Yeah, really good movie. Um, yeah, I just love everything about it. The villain, music, acting, story, writing, dialogue, all those different things you get in a good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.